Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you could see, I'm doing the sites right now. I just received the sites from Lakeline LLC. And guys, make sure when you get those stuff that you read in the instructions because the instructions have a great deal of um, information that you might need. Um, that's what happened to me the last time. I didn't read the instructions and I go ahead and I messed up messed up the, the previous sites I was doing but this time I took my time I read it and I ordered different um, sites this time with the fiber lines the one with the fiber lines that's the one I ordered I'll put a, uh, the name of it on there so that you guys could see exactly which one and if you guys want to order it but it's from um, Lake Line LLC so let me just jump right into it I already slacked on the bolts on the side because it was a little tough I say let me check it out before I come on there to do the video i already slackened on the board so right now i'm just going to finish taking it out and then put on the new one so after i take them out that's basic so you guys could do that on your own after i take them out i'll come back on there and show you all the process of putting it back on with the new sides also i think the screw for the front you have to use it for that one it comes with one screw and i think it's for the back so you have to save your screw from the front to install on the sides that you buy it only comes with one screw, so I think you have to use either the rear or the front back on the new sides. So bear in mind, don't damage your screw, don't over tighten it. Uh, I think you just do a couple twists and you use a thread lock. That's what holds it in, in place more than the... Um, because it does have enough threads on there and it's aluminum, you threading it in so it will destroy it. So, yep, be right back. Let me just finish, stick out all the sides the both sides on that one and then i'll come back and show you guys step by step when i install it and putting the fiber the fiber um, colored sides in there all right guys i hope you guys could see properly on that angle but i just took out both sides both the rear and the front and the front was a little difficult to take out because i put loctite on there so that means the loctite works really well so just bear in mind be careful when you're taking it out you don't want to fret it because I think that's the same screw you have to use back so just clean up everything after you take it out and then you could go ahead and start the process of installing the new sites and I think after you install the new sites that's when you you're doing the fiber up the fiber um, fiber optic sites the colored things the sites to put in there so I'm just going ahead and make sure everything is clean so that I could start back the process of putting them back and don't lose anything just in case you mess it up I'll just put everything on the side make sure that it's clean and start the process I think I'll start with the front one and then go ahead to the back one as you can see it's clean um, on there it said use some rubbing alcohol product or something with alcohol to wipe off all the grease but mine already didn't have grease because uh, my first when I first moved it I clean it up and I'm just doing the whole process over again I didn't have time to shoot it or anything so it didn't get any grease so let me just go ahead and start the process of installing the new one I don't know if it's just me or I could never get the lake line front sides to sit down in the hole perfectly they told me it's supposed to be a tight fit so that it will sit down correctly but it's just not going in there so I don't know if it's me I have the problem or what but let me just go ahead as you could see it's not focusing but it's never sitting on in the hole properly but let me go ahead and read the instructions again and then come back and see if it's me I have the problem or if it's just the sides are never fitting the front hole directly all right guys i finally got it to fit in there um 
It don't look that straight. Let me see. Nope, it's still not sitting on flush as you guys could see. But you just have to give it a little tap so it will sit down in the hole. So let me see if I could give it some to some um, little taps again with a soft object. What I do, I take a soft cloth and put on it, and I use a soft object um, like the hammer for the guns, the soft small hammer. Or as you could see, I just use the back of this little taps, small taps, because I'm too lazy to go inside and get my hammer. But let me go ahead and try it again and see how we come out. But just be very careful for another damage your sight or your gun. Alright guys, I finally got it to work, so what I'm going to do now is flip it over and take the screw that they provided. The screw they provided for us, let me make sure that one fit in here. Yep, I think I have to reuse the back, the rear screw. You have to reuse the rear screw. So you save the rear screw that you took out. Now for that one, it have Loctite on here already, but I'll still apply some more. Also, you have to use a Phillips screwdriver. A Phillips for this one. So I'll go back in my box and get a Phillips. <clears throat> Make sure it's the correct one. That one that's a little bigger to see. Yep. So I put a little, it have Loctite on here already, but I put a little bit more Loctite. And just be short not to put too much on there. Because it does come with some on it already. That's a lot, but I'll wipe it out. What I'm going to do, since it's holding in, I'm going to put it up so that the screw don't fall. Get it in there. Yep. And then put it back down and tighten it. Not too tight, but until it, you feel it snug up. tighten it until I see it reach the bottom and then I'm going to stop you don't tighten that too tight this piece over here I just want the screw to touch the metal yep and that's it that's it for the front just make sure that the screw you could see I install it on here just make sure that the screw is touching the bottom that's what I'm looking for right now. Make sure the screw is all the way down. I don't want to cross thread it, so. Alright. <clears throat> that should be it. Any excess, you wipe it off. And when you're doing that, make sure that the screw have clearance from the hole. Because if you put it too, if you leave it too high up, then your your thing will be touching. It will be touching the top up here. All right, that's it for the front. Now let's head on to the back. Now for the back, I don't think they have a wrong. Oh yeah, the back you see the for the back you see the hole is closer to the rear, so that means it it goes into the rear. That one might be a little tight fit also. Yeah, if I only got all of them on here. And I'll be testing my gun later on to make sure everything is alright. It's just locked tight. I could untighten it and push it to whichever side that I want. But I'll do the full installation right now so that you guys could see how. Alright, for mine I'll be putting the red in front and orange in the back. I think it'll look nice like that. It'll be good enough for me like that. And they advise you that if you're having some trouble putting it in there, use some soapy product to slide it in. But if any of you guys decided to order it, they will give you all instructions that you needed to install it. So I'll go ahead and right now install it. You just have to put it in there, cut it 
and then just put the heat on them make it make it up to the um, side but you have to cut it straight so that you will have a nice straight edge so I'll go ahead and do the the two of them I'll cut it you have to have a straight knife cut it on a flat surface I'll go ahead and do the sides and then I'll show you guys when I'm done all right so as you guys could see I am done putting it on there and I like the way it turned out see how it looking if you watch down the barrel see how you see in it I'm digging the um, orange and the red I just felt like making it different I have the green I could have put but I see everybody putting green so I need to try the orange on there and yes I did put the screw back in here with the Loctite on it I almost forgot to do that one when I was going to put the sides that's when I realized that but I did do it so I'm going to go ahead and put the gun back together right now make sure when you're doing it you don't put too much heat on your gun because it will dirty it out as you could see mine dirty a little but I I will clean it up but it looks really nice I like it but all I'm missing right now is to go ahead and try it and see how it works because I haven't shooting the gun as yet I haven't sight in the um, scope the laser as yet to put the laser in there the laser is facing all different crazy ways right now I didn't do that one as yet although I could start doing it I should have done it with my old sights and then when I put the new sights put it on there to see how if it will be lined up but I didn't do it so when I get on the range I'll make sure I fix all that and if my sight is not good I will go to one of those shops and make them straighten it up for me but for now it look good to me I just have to go on the range and try it out and see how it works I might take you guys along with me but let me put it together and then show you guys how it turned out keep my old sights and the um, parts for it just in case that the sights I put on they don't work out I always keep it and store it with all my gun parts so that if anything happen I could always reinstall my old sights if I don't like those that's just a little tip I giving anybody at installing stuff on the guns to keep the old ones just in case it don't work out and that's how the gun look right now with the new sights on there I'm gonna put the laser on there right now and adjust it to the sides and that's about it guys so if you like this video or if you have any tips or ideas that you want to give me go ahead and comment leave it down below thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and let me know what you think and let me know what else you think I should do to this gun as you guys already see I already did most stuff to it and you guys following so go ahead and let me know what else you think I should do to this gun? All I'm missing right now is to get the case made for it to fit with the new light I bought because they don't have cases for those lights. On the next video, I'll show you guys which cases I use and the cases that I get made. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button.